The Maldives is a tropical paradise, known for its pristine beaches, coral reefs, and luxury resorts. It is also a sovereign nation, with a history, culture, and politics of its own. But in November 1988, this island nation faced a grave threat to its existence when a group of armed rebels attempted to overthrow its government and take control of its capital, Mala. The rebels were led by a Maldivian businessman, Abdullah Luthufi, who had a personal grudge against the president, Maumun Abdul Gayoum. He was assisted by a Tamil militant group from Sri Lanka, the People's Liberation Organization of Tamil Elam, or PLOTI, which had its own agenda of creating a separate state for the Tamil minority in Sri Lanka. The coup was planned and executed with precision and speed. The rebels hijacked a Sri Lankan freighter, loaded it with weapons and explosives, and sailed it to the Maldives. They also infiltrated Maul with dozens of mercenaries, disguised as tourists and fishermen. On the night of November 3rd, they launched their attack, capturing key installations such as the airport, the port, the radio station and the police headquarters. They also took several hostages, including cabinet ministers and foreign nationals. Their main objective was to capture the president, who was in his palace, surrounded by a loyal but outnumbered security force. The rebels stormed the palace but failed to find the president, who had managed to escape to a safe house with the help of his aides. From there, he made a desperate call for help to his friends and allies in the region and beyond. But who would come to his rescue? Who would risk their lives and resources to save a small and remote country with no strategic or economic significance? Who would stand up to the rebels? Who had the advantage of surprise, firepower and numbers? The answer was India. India, the largest and most powerful country in South Asia, had a special relationship with the Maldives, based on historical, cultural and geographical ties. India also had a vested interest in maintaining the stability and security of the region, which was threatened by the presence and activities of militant groups, such as the Ploti. India responded to the president's call for help with a swift and decisive intervention, codenamed Operation Cactus. Within hours of receiving the distress signal, India mobilized its armed forces and dispatched a contingent of paratroopers, naval vessels and aircraft to the Maldives. The operation was led by the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, who personally oversaw and coordinated the mission from his office in New Delhi. The operation was a daring and risky one, as India had to act without any prior intelligence planning or preparation. It also had to overcome several challenges, such as the distance, the weather, the terrain, and the uncertainty of the situation on the ground. It also had to deal with the possibility of international criticism or even opposition from other countries who might view the intervention as an act of aggression or interference in the internal affairs of another sovereign state. But India was determined to carry out the operation and to do it with speed, accuracy and efficiency. It was also determined to do it with minimal loss of life and damage to property, both on its own side and on the side of the Maldivians who were its friends and partners. The operation was a success. The Indian paratroopers landed at the airport, secured it and advanced towards the city. They engaged the rebels in fierce gun battles and managed to neutralize them and free the hostages. They also rescued the president and escorted him back to his palace, where he resumed his authority and addressed his nation and the world on the radio. The operation was over in less than 24 hours. The rebels were either killed, captured or fled. The Indian forces suffered no casualties and inflicted minimal collateral damage. The Maldivian government and people were grateful to India for saving their country and restoring their democracy. The international community also praised India for its timely and effective action and for its respect for the sovereignty and integrity of the Maldives. The operation was a shining example of India's role and responsibility as a regional leader and a global player. It was also a testament to India's friendship and solidarity with the Maldives and other small and vulnerable countries in times of need. The operation was a historic and heroic one that deserves to be remembered and celebrated by both India and the Maldives, and by anyone who values peace, freedom and justice. This is the story of Operation Cactus, the Siege of Paradise, and how India saved the Maldives from a coup.